Thank so much for the idea that December is a tough time to find work. Last month, a shocking number of job hunters scored new positions. Even with the many distractions of the holidays and even with signs pointing to a possible recession ahead. Let's bring in our Jeannie Lee on this one. Jeannie, some good news, uh, but how strong is this hiring spree? Well, it always helps to have very low expectations, Hannah, because then you're never disappointed. <laughs> uh, and this was a case where, yes, expectations were pretty low. Uh, economists were expecting 5,000, maybe 10,000 new jobs. But instead, Santa brought quite the sackful. So here's what we mean, 104,000 new positions, 10 times the typical uh, result. Now, the jobless rate drops to 5%, and that's almost the record low that we saw last year. 85,000 more full-time positions that come with full-time paychecks, they really goose the economy. Now, private sector, you need the private sector to add jobs if you're going to have lasting, meaningful growth. And certainly that was the case. Now, there was strong hiring in a lot of sectors, construction, transportation, hospitality, etc. And nine out of 10 provinces did gain jobs. The only one that didn't was New Brunswick. Now, if we zero in on one of those aspects, the full-time jobs, that is very key to sustaining the job market. Uh, the picture is pretty encouraging. In fact, we'll show you an actual picture, and it is a graph that goes back in the last year. Um, basically, the bar graph uh, will show you just how many jobs were added or lost in any particular month. And you'll Oh, we don't have the board. Okay. Well, anyway, I'll tell you that uh, overall things were kind of strong in the spring, slumped in the summer, and then in the last four months of the year, more than 260,000 full-time jobs were added. And Hannah, that is, no matter how you slice it, very strong end to the year. Sure. Now, even with these big numbers, Jeannie, are there any cracks starting to show in the job market? Well, you have to look at why there is such hiring. Uh, first of all, a lot of people are looking for jobs because they're squeezed with higher prices for everything, uh, higher interest rates, and high debt. So they're out looking for jobs, and they're finding them easily simply because there were so many vacant jobs uh, uh, for a while there, a million vacant jobs left uh, uh, going begging, essentially. Employers, though, at some point will stop uh, their hiring spree or slow it down, and that's, uh, that would be re the result of a slower economy. The other thing is wages. They are starting to drop uh, in terms of growth. They were quite higher by quite a bit earlier this year or last year. Now, uh, in the latest month, 5.1% was the, the raise that people were getting, and that doesn't even cover inflation. So have a listen to what this economist had to say about that. We're also seeing that the pace of wage growth is decelerating. So Canadian workers aren't making up for their lost purchasing power during the pandemic in terms of much faster wage growth. So yes, the labor market is tighter. It's very hot. The unemployment rate is very low, but it doesn't mean that the economy is necessarily racing ahead and that Canadian workers are, gonna go, are about to get massive jo uh, wage increases. The other thing, uh, the detail that was interesting, Hannah, is that uh, last month, about 9% of uh, workers actually were sick. And we know there's this triple pem uh, triple demic going on. And so, you know, that is not uh, great. And that could be a factor going forward because, of course, we haven't solved COVID-19 uh, variants are constantly coming up and uh, it is the winter flu, cold and flu season. So just something to watch uh, in the months ahead.